Hello everyone. Um, well, I'm over in Northern Ireland today and um, I'm here with the Linus family um, at the Linus family farm. And I'll be joined by Stuart and Paul Linus who will be telling me what it's like since they've had the Lely Vector automated feeding system installed and what is their day like now with the Vector. Um, Stuart, if you could just um, introduce yourself possibly and give us a bit of a history about the farm. Yeah, so I'm Stuart. I'm a third generation here on this farm. Granda, he bought it in 71, 1971. Predominantly beef, some sheep, all the way through. Dad took it over, continued beef, and then 2017 we went into dairy via a Lely F4. And within a year, we'd put a second F4 in. So automation, innovation, obviously it's been there since the beginning then with the dairy. Yep. yep. In February of this year, the vector system was turned on. Okay, so the vector is the um, smart automated feeding yep. system, yeah? Yep. So it's a robotic way of feeding the cows. Yeah. How's it gone? Brilliant. You're Brilliant. pleased? Yep. Time, weekends are the biggest thing you see. So, your day then has just changed completely. Yeah. yeah. Chores, your routine jobs are nearly back to front for us now. Used to be feeding first thing, now we don't do that. But you come in and you can actually pick what you want to do. Yeah. First thing in the morning. And I suppose it's quite nice going to work in the morning because I've had a look around the farm and I see there's quite a few Lely um, robots here working. And yeah, going to the farm in the morning, you know, the scraping's done, feeding's done, yeah. milking done. Um, but feeding is obviously was a big part of the day. Yeah. In wintertime, we were probably two hours a day, two and a half. Okay. Two and a half a day, whereas we're probably two and a half, maybe maybe three hours a week. Down to three hours Down a week Down to three now. hours on filling the kitchen. Right. Maybe another 30, 40 minutes tidying up, feed fences. and. Managing the kitchen properly, I suppose, gives you a bit of free time of the weekend or more flexible time of the more weekend. More flexible, yeah. Yeah. You're not tied. It used to be that, yes, we had milking robots and you weren't tied to milking, but we were tied to feeding. Yeah. yeah. And cows had to be fed three o'clock every morning. Yeah. So, I mean, now if you sleep in, <laughs> you know, you have no issue with that. Yeah. It's a lot more sociable, I suppose, oh, yeah. isn't it? Definitely. Mm -hmm. More sociable. And, um, the cows seen um, they've seen the benefit of it. I, you know, feeding is such a big part of a dairy farm. Yeah, they went up roughly just slightly more than a kilo of dry matter index since the vector. Since system. the vector in February, so now we're in July. We're up almost 600 kilos of milk from forage. And do you put down that down to them being fed um, accurately? Um, the vector system feeds to demand. It's quite unique, yeah. isn't yeah. it? There isn't another system that does that. Yeah, and, and I think also heifers got a big lift of milk based on they were getting nine, ten feeds a day and they were never getting bullied. So like we never had heifers milk as well before either. And I think a lot of it has come from that. You know, what are we, four or five months in? We haven't even got the full year yet. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So it'll be interesting to see just how far it goes. So we're here at the feed kitchen now then. Obviously a lot of emphasis on forage on this farm. You do top quality forage. And I can see the big blocks now. Yeah. And I suppose cut like that, big blocks, that's how you can get away, I suppose, with feedy, uh, feeding the kitchen, loading the kitchen once every three days. Yeah. Because there's so much in the block. And the grid system on the floor, I suppose you put the blocks in there, does that identify or do you put it into the management system so it knows? Yeah, we, we just input whatever block we want yeah so we, we could change any block in there to whatever we want on the computer system to let the crane know where it's going so i mean nothing's fixed you can you can alter everything is that quite an easy process to do? yeah yeah very very easy and i suppose with everything these days is it on the phone it is i <laughs> really okay so you've got access to it all the time and i see the vector is now mixing and yeah. it's just about to go out and then it'll do its three jobs, I suppose. Scanning, pushing up. And feeding. And feeding. And it does it every day, morning, noon and night. All night. In fact, it'd be busiest, its busiest times here is between five and about midnight. 
Is it really? Yeah. Cows eat more then? Our cows seem to eat more then. Is it, I suppose, um, is it cooling down? Maybe, but like from six o'clock in the morning to 10 o'clock, it maybe doesn't feed the cows. And actually, that's a good point. Before we put this in, what time did you used to feed your cows? Eight o'clock in the morning. Eight o'clock in the morning. Yeah. At possibly a time where they didn't want to eat. Possibly. Wow, that's interesting. Yeah. So we never found that out until we put this in that our yeah. cows wanted to eat most in the evening or night time. It really does gather a lot of information, it does. doesn't it? So it's going along the feed fence and it obviously knows how much is in here. Yeah. And then it'll dispense it evenly? Yeah, it'll, it'll slow up and, and slow down. So it, it spreads that load evenly across that whole fence. So it knows the length it of the fence? Knows the length of the fence. It knows how much food there's in here? Yeah. And it has to travel at a certain speed to have an even distribution of feed? Yeah. Wow. That's quite a bit, isn't it? Yeah, it's a good job. It's mixed well, isn't it? Yeah, and that's partially down to probably not overloading. Whereas, yeah. like before, we everybody was critical of it, overloading your tub. It's just a very open mix. It's not over-processed, nothing. And this will do exactly what your nutritionist wants it to do, isn't it? Well, Stuart, thank you very much. Um, my time's coming to an end now. I've had a great day. It's always nice to get out on farm and seeing it all working. You've given us a good insight as to uh, what Vector's brought to you, um, the flexibility has given you, and your vision for the future going forward and what you want to do with it. And so it has been really, really good for us. And I must thank you for that, for the time, the welcome, the hospitality. Take care. Bye-bye.